again and welcome back to the channel Richard here again with another video today it's a video review of 88 films is first 4k ultra HD blu-ray um, they've decided to go with drive for their first release so the set has arrived today so let's get this open um, and then we'll put it in the player and we'll check out the bit rates and take a few screenshots um, so this is the package that we get quite a nice um, bit of artwork and a smooth velvet sort of feel to the slip box uh, it's not a slip cover because it's only got one open side uh, I've ordered this directly from 88 films store uh, and it's just arrived today So there's the underneath. So as you can see from the number, it's 88FU001. So their first release. Great to see another label actually join the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray ranks. So let's check out the back and see what they're going to give us. So for this one, it's a Ultra HD presentation of the extended director's cut, which is 118 minutes long in a 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio from a new 4K scan from the original camera negative. So for their first release, it's not an upscale. It is a 4K scan. It's presented in Dolby Vision which is obviously HDR10 compatible as well. And it's got a Dolby Atmos track. It's also got a 5.1 DTS HD master audio and a stereo lossless uh, LPCM track. It's got the original cut, which is available in HD, 20, uh, HD 1080p with an alternate music score, which is 100 minutes long. So the director's cut is 18 minutes longer. And we've got optional English subtitles on both cuts. We've got an audio commentary. Um, we've got a documentary, six deleted scenes, interview gallery. And we've got reversible sleeve with the artwork by Sam Gilby. So. Okay. Obviously, this is multi-region. Uh, region free, so it's got an ABC on there. Um, there is no Blu-ray in this, I believe. It's just, um, yeah, it's just one disc. So um, the original cut is obviously a upscale, or is it going to be? Uh, when you play it back on the menu, it's going to be HD only from the 4K disc. We'll check that out. So this will be 4K. Will that be 4K? We'll check it out in a minute. So there's the disc. Same artwork as the slipcase. Let's check what they've given us for their first release. And um, yep, they've even beaten Disney. Uh, they've given us a 100 gig disc, a triple layer. So 88 films can give us a 100 gig disc. Disney can't bit pathetic really um, and a nice poster we've got as well so same artwork as the slip box which I quite like to be honest okay let's check out the reverse art before we put this in the player so oh, there's the reverse artwork. Okay, so that's basically a look at the package. That's what we get. Um, it isn't very sturdy, the slip case, um, but um, yeah, it's okay. The artwork is quite nice and um, 
quite a nice metallic sort of look to it as well as you can see from that angle so that's enough for the package let's get this in the player and check the disc out okay so the disc is just going into the player so let's check it out Okay, so as usual, we get a nice little splash screen on the Pioneer. That is skippable. And then you get the 88 Films logo. Which is not skippable. Okay, so we're at the menu. We got three options, play film, setup and special features. So let's check out setup. So we've got setup audio, Dolby Atmos, which is English, uh, 5.1 English DTS HD Master Audio and stereo and then commentary track and then back to Atmos. OK, when I get the disc playing, we'll check out the bit rates on all of those tracks. Uh, subtitles, for those interested, we've got off and English. So that's that. And let's have a look at the special features. So commentary track, drive the original cut, which we'll get back to. Um, documentary and more information. Deleted scenes, interview gallery, original trailer. So quite a bit on there. So good that they've given us a triple layer disc. So let's start the film with the 4K version. Okay, let's see if we can get any metadata off this disc. Okay, so we've been getting a good bit of bit right there at the moment uh, for the video. Let's let's skip a track, uh, a chapter. Get a bit of action on the screen. So we're getting good, good bit rates here. Um, I'd like to say it's um, yeah, it's dipped a bit. Now I was going to say it's Kino Lobo, Kino Lobo uh, territory here with these high bit rates, eighties and nineties. Um, little bit of a dip now but um, still quite impressive the audio track looks um, looks 16 bit for the Atmos and um, we'll check the other tracks in a minute I just want to see if there's any metadata for the HDR there isn't all we can see it's a 1000 nit mastered transfer we don't get a max CLL we don't get an average so let's change the audio track so we'll go from Dolby Atmos to the DTS HD Mastered Audio. Um, and that's looking 16 bit as well. And let's get the stereo track. And then the audio track, uh, the commentary track is a Dolby Digital uh, soundtrack. So back to the Atmos. Okay, pretty good on the video bit rate. And as you can see, it is HDR. Uh, it is in the right color space, BT2020. Uh, skip forward another chapter and another. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the video bit rate here. Um, we'll have a look at some screenshots at the end of the video. Um, but the audio definitely looks 16-bit, um, uh, the bit rate which should be in 4,000 and um, touching 5.5 if it was 24. Let's go back to the menu and uh, let's check out the original cut just to see what they've given us. 
So back into special features. Okay, because the back of the case did say it was HD 1080p. So yeah, so it is a 1080p transfer on the disk. So 1080p SDR BT709 and it looks like a Dolby Digital Stereo Track. See if there's any other audios on the disc encoded. No, nope, that's all you've got. So the original cut, which is 100 minutes, 18 minutes shorter, that's what you get. Video bit rate, we'll see if it increases in a minute. Okay, so it's pretty low end Blu ray transfer this um, on the 4K disc. So about 20 megs per second with a 320 kilobytes a second Dolby Digital Stereo track. So, okay, I'm um, going to take some screenshots now and see how it looks. Okay, so overall I'm pretty pleased with the transfer from 88 Films. You can see from these images, uh, there's quite a bit of grain structure available on the screen and the colours do pop quite nicely. Uh, the blue on the previous image you can see really shines and a good use of HDR on the car light as well, which you can see there. And also the wide colour gamut on the red of the car really pops on that image um, little smoothness on that image, but it was only a couple of scenes. Um, you can see there the grain is back. And then on another scene with Mark on it, you can see um, there's quite a bit of grain. When I zoom in on this picture, you can see there's good detail there. So for a very first outing from 88 Films, um, very pleased. Um, and I'll leave you with my favourite image, which is this one. The, the colours on the wooden crate really pop in there as you can see, and a good depth to the image, as you can see the background with the cranes. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you do like this uh, review, please like and comment down below. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.